cooking at Pam's place. I'm Chef Pam and we're getting ready to make red potatoes and green beans. Oh my goodness. Now I want you to hang in there with me today because I do mine just a little bit different than most people do theirs and they are absolutely amazing. And if you want to learn how to make all kind of homemade food and dishes, easy, simple, made from scratch, Take a second and subscribe to the channel. Turn on the notification bell so you won't miss anything. And then just keep hanging around because I have a whole channel full of recipes that'll get you there. Let's get busy. We are back and it's time to go over our ingredients that I will have every last single ingredient and how we do it in the description so you can do it too. The star of the dish, well we actually have two stars of the dish. Our green beans. Now I am using fresh green beans. These are whole green beans. I'm going to cut them in half and I am using red potatoes. I am using many red potatoes. Some of them are smaller than others. I'm going to cut these as well. You'll need some chicken broth. I've got some salt pepper. You're going to need some butter. I've got some bacon that has been cooked and crumbled. Some red onion and homemade garlic powder. Mm -mm. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. First thing we're going to do is get our potatoes cut. Now, for my green beans and red potatoes, it's a rustic dish for me. And that means I don't cut everything up the same size. I don't want it to be the same size. I want everything to be a different size because it's a rustic dish. So I'm going to get these cut up and we're going to also cut our green beans as well. First thing we're going to do is to our skillet we're adding some reserved bacon grease. Yes, used bacon grease from our bacon. Give it the awesome flavor. You just need about a tablespoon to and that's it. We're going to let that heat up and we'll be back. Okay, so our skillet should be good and hot and we want to put our potatoes in here at least one side down. We're just going to crispy them up a little bit before we put them in our pot. So go ahead, get your potatoes in here. Let them get slightly golden brown on that side. We want a little color. Color is flavor. Okay, let's see what we got here. Yes, this is what we're looking for. That golden brown on there. And you don't have to necessarily turn them once that one side, that's what you want. That brown is flavor, color is flavor, guys. And if you could smell these, oh my goodness, from that bacon uh, grease, mm -mm, delicious. So I'm going to go ahead and take these out and get them in the pot. Oh my goodness. Okay, don't these potatoes look delicious already? Oh my goodness. Now we're going to add everything else in here except for our seasonings and our bacon. I'm going to start off with my onion. Get all that in there. And our green beans. Now I'm using fresh green beans. You can use frozen or canned. But I am starting my green beans off with my potatoes because they are fresh. So you have to adjust the time if you use frozen or canned. Frozen takes a little less time and canned takes even less time. So I'm going to stir this up in here. Oh my goodness, it smells amazing. The bacon from that I cooked into the um, potatoes, the onions. This is smelling delicious. Mm -mm. Oh my God, that smells good. Now we're going to go in with our chicken broth. We're going to let this cook, bring this to a boil, then I'm going to reduce the heat, cover it, and simmer it. 
until it's time for us to put the rest of our seasonings and things in. Okay, now that we're up to a boil, we are going to go in with some garlic powder, black pepper, just a tad bit of salt, and a few red pepper flakes. Give that a good stir. Now we're going to reduce the heat and let this simmer. Then we'll come back and add the last of our ingredients. Okay, we are pretty much done. As you can see, my broth has thickened up almost gravy consistent. That's just what I wanted. Now I'm going to go in with a couple of tablespoons of butter and my crumbled bacon. Get that all stirred in together. Oh my goodness, guys. This smells so delicious. Mm -mm. Oh, thank you all so much for coming and hanging out with me today. I really do appreciate each and every one of you guys. Don't forget to subscribe, turn on that notification bell, share it out, tell everyone you know that Pam is over here cooking up easy, simple, quick meals made from scratch that you can make in your own kitchen too. Oh my goodness. And I will see you next time. The good Lord willing and the creek don't rise.